One of the big draw cars for Quick Tiger West is, of course, Jim Richards. Jim, welcome back to Perth. Great to have you here. Thanks very much, Dean. Now, expectations from this event. You always downplay the Tiger events, but I've got you shortlisted for maybe a, a bit of a win through here. Well, listen, I, we'd, we'd, we'd love to get a result for sure, but, I mean, we, we don't come over thinking that we're going to win. And we come over and thinking, hey, there's some good opposition out there, and if, if, and if we have a good run and we, you know, we, we do everything right, well, we might be up there somewhere. But I think, you know, I, I go into all the events with no expectation, and then you're never disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> is that something you did through your career, or is this only just in the latter stage of your career since you've been doing some of these Tiger events? No, listen, I've always gone to the theory that you can only do as good as you can do with what you have at the time. And if you don't do good enough, well, you, you, you come where you, where you come. And even in, in circuit racing, I mean, you only go as good as you can. I mean, you can't do the impossible. If the other guy's going better, he's going to beat you. <laughs> and you have, saying that, you've done very well. You know, your, your, your history in not only circuit racing, but Tiger, you know, X amount of Tiger wins. You've even yep. won this event here at Tiger West before. Tell us about your mount for this weekend in regards to the Porsche. Okay, the, the, the car is, is basically as we, as we buy them from Porsche. This is, a, this is called a GT2 RS, which is um, one of 500 made in the world. Um, and that's nothing specifically particular, but it just happens that they made that many. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, they've got 630 horsepower as a standard car. Basically, all I've done to the car from the showroom is put slightly heavier springs in it um, and put the stickers on it. And doesn't it go well? Well, it does, but something that's got that much horsepower that handles reasonable is always going to go pretty good. <laughs> what I found interesting in the past is before you sort of, when the, when the threats were starting to come on in the Targa world and the four-wheel drives in the wet, you know, you thought yourself as a bit of a disadvantage. But the odd time I've chatted to you at the, the last few Targas, this car is as good in the wet as any other car you've driven, even all-wheel drive. It, it, very, very close. I mean, I was amazed. The first time I drove it in the wet, um, I was hesitant because I just thought it will be an absolute monster. But it has a traction control system. Uh, but only obviously a two-wheel drive, but it was amazing. The car was fantastic. We absolutely loved it, and, and we were doing times as good and better than some of the four-wheel drive cars. Well, rain, hail or shine, uh, I know the Perth people are loving seeing you out here, and good luck with the weekend. Thanks, mate. Good